LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live. And let me tell you, do something. Let me tell you, do something right now, okay? You know, guys, I really, I really and honestly do appreciate the people that subscribe to my channel. I do. Um, and you guys don't even understand, you know, how I enjoy communicating with some of y'all. I mean, really, really, really talking uh, to a lot of y'all, okay? And guys, it's just, you know, I appreciate you guys. But I, I, I'm, I want to do something, okay, because I'm going to have my 2,000 subscriber celebration. And I do those celebrations because it's a celebration, you know, because I just want to show my respect. And I do it. I do it when I hit a big number in subscribers, you know, that, that aren't mine there, but they belong to Google. But, you know, hey, you guys follow me. But I want some of you guys to actually, you know, and, and I know sometimes you just want to hear boxing and some of you guys really want to hear me, you know, you know, y'all want to, you know, y'all want me to, you know, make y'all laugh and, you know, pick on some people. I know that. And guys, I'm going to get back to that. But guys, there are two, you know, really good Muay Thai fighters. And guys, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get these two videos to get over a thousand views. I purposely did not put ads on these videos. And I'm going to tell you why I didn't put ads on the videos. I didn't put ads on the videos because I don't want an advertisement coming across when these these fighters, these hardworking fighters, they're there, you know, they're working their butt off, and then an ad come across the screen, you know, really hiding their facial expression. And I think that's really important when you're doing, like, a really important interview. And it just is. And, and guys, I want both of these videos to actually do 1,000 views. Guys, it, it, there's no money in this for me. I'm doing this because I'm really trying to promote a lot of hardworking women's fighters. And guys, remember I dropped a video about what I'm built to do, and I feel led to actually do this. But guys, I realize a channel is only as strong as the people that follow the person. And I, I, I really actually do understand that. And that's why, you know, a lot of times I talk to a lot of y'all, I'll even ask y'all how y'all family doing, because I really actually want to know how your family doing. And I may not respond to everybody in a timely manner, but when I do, you can, you can best believe that it's really heartfelt. But what I want y'all to do, and here's what I'll do. I'm going to have my 2K celebration tonight with y'all. And, you know, you, you, and you know how to coach do it. You know how I do it. I put people in the video. And that video, I don't care, that video will be two hours long, okay? I'll do it. But if you go by and you click on these videos, I'm going to show you the videos I want you to just watch. Just click on it. Even if you watch it for a couple of minutes here and there, you know, even see the intro videos that I Because these ladies, these are two undefeated Muay Thai champions. They female and they're they're doing it big, but they just they're in a sport that's not recognized here in America. And I'm trying to you know actually help. And they were just telling me some of the I, off camera. They were both telling me a lot of things. You know, her and and Jarena were just telling me like how difficult it is. So okay, the first video that I want y'all to click on. And they, listen, this ain't for everybody. I just want the people that's rolling strong, rolling strong. I'm talking about strong with coach. You rolling strong with the coach, and the coach is rolling strong with you. Okay, if you guys go on there and leave a positive comment, words of encouragement to them, anybody, and their people have done it already, okay? If you do it, I, you have my guarantee that I am going to put you in an episode of the 2K Celebration, and you know how I get, boy. I get off the chain with that 2K Celebration, and, you know, I promise you, I'll call you out by name. I'll leave, I mean, you know, for those of y'all, that and even if it's a 1,000 people, I'm going to call you out by name, and I'm just, if I got to make five or six videos, I will, okay? Or if you just want to, you only have to leave a comment. If you just want to just click on the video and watch, you know, some of the interview, that's fine, you know? Um, you know, I want you guys to go and look at Angela Riptide Whitley. You know, she's, man, undefeated. You know, the girl, she ain't really been, she ain't been fighting as long. You know, she was a wrestler in high school, and she started doing Muay Thai. And hoping, you know, hoping one day she do MMA, because I, I actually think she built for it. She... She don't know when she's going to make that transition. I think she built for MMA, but, you know, she don't know that yet, but, you know. But, yeah, man, you know, I, I just I want y'all to just go and just click on the video and listen to what this young sister is saying. She's speaking a lot of truth, man, and her attitude towards fighting Jarena Bars. I mean, Jarena is like, she's a legend in the sport of Muay Thai. And she pretty much said, you know, I can't be afraid. I got to fight the best. And, guys, y'all got to hear the story, man. And I'm... I'm Urging y'all, and this is not for everybody. This is not for everybody. It's not. It's not for the people. It's not, you know, if you if you ain't down with it, just don't do it. But I want you to find it in my video. Just click on it. Watch it, okay? Uh, the next fighter. Let's see. All right. 
Jarena Jojo Bars, okay? I had the pleasure of interviewing her, man. This girl, she beat the hell out of Chris Cyborg. Right, people, that's just the way that is. She whooped Cyborg ass. And I, <laughs> I can't say nothing else about it, man. But um, she, man, this girl's only like 27 years old, and she fights like a veteran, man. I mean, she's going in there, and she took it to Cyborg. She took it to Cyborg. And when I say she took it to Cyborg, like, she was walking Cyborg down, coming straight ahead. And Cyborg is a good fighter. Cyborg just not experienced in Muay Thai, but she's a good fighter. But, you know, this and hers is two parts. Um, hers is a two-part story, so both of the parts in there. But, you know, you can just click on one of the parts. But what I want you guys to do, I want both of these videos to really just go, you know, past 1,000 views because these ladies, and, and you know what, and if you look at it, then share it, Okay. Guys, I'll figure out something to do. You know, definitely by default, I'm going to put you in an episode, okay? And and I guess for the person that, you know, say the most really thoughtful comment to them, and I'll pick, I'll judge the most thoughtful comment, I'll even, you know, if you're, if you're open-minded to it, I'll even call you up and we can do a collab video together. You know, it, it don't matter. Whoever leaves, you know, in my opinion, the most thoughtful comment to either one of these two, uh, Jarena Jojo or... Um, you know, um, God, I'm getting getting so uh, choked up over this. Uh, Jarena or Angela, anybody who leaves, you know, one of the most thought provoking and most encouraging comments, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a collab with you, okay? And that's just the way that is. I don't care who it is. If you know you are open minded to doing a collab and you really want to, I'll do a collab with you, okay? And that's the person that can leave the most thoughtful comment. And I'm gonna go through. And I'll probably get somebody to help me judge. Like maybe I'll get me and probably a guy, maybe, you know, maybe me and a boxing librarian can go through and check to see which one we think the most thoughtful comment is. I don't know. But guys, go ahead and show your support for these two young ladies, man. Show your support. Um, you know, definitely, you know, and, and you and you know, and this is only for the people that roll with coach. Okay. This this is not this not for everybody. This ain't for everybody, okay? The sport of pugilism is not for everybody because people can't appreciate the sport of pugilism. And Muay Thai is close to boxing. They throw a lot of punches. They wax them. We just don't kick. But guys, go and just check out parts of the interview. If you don't have time to watch the whole thing, that's fine, okay? I just need you to show your support because the more views this things get, then y'all know how YouTube work. YouTube will filter this thing and put it out there, and that's what I want because I, I want them and their accomplishment, man. And, and two, you know, these girls, they're fighting, you know, for, for Jarena. Nobody even wanted to fight her for years except for Chris Cyborg. Like, or she, no, 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 I'm sorry, I got that wrong. She wanted to fight Cyborg. She wanted to fight Chris Cyborg because you know, Chris Cyborg had to do Muay Thai because wasn't nobody in MMA fighter. And, 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 and Jarena was like, look, let me fight Chris Cyborg. And then, you know, uh, um, Angela Whitley, you know, you look at Angela Whitley's story, nobody wanted to fight Jarena Boris for years. Angela Whitley, Whitley said, I want to fight her. You see, this is what we're doing, guys. And, guys, it's also helping boxing. This is going to help boxing because boxing need to see how these girls think, man. They want to fight the best. They want to fight the best. They want to fight the very best that there is. They, they don't want to cut corners. Like, you know, Angela was like, she ain't sleeping at night knowing somebody else out there is better than her. Or, you know, people think that somebody better than her. She ain't trying to hit that. What she trying to do, man, she trying to get out there and, and, and take care of her business. So, guys, there are no ads on these videos. I promise I didn't put ads on them. But a simple fact that I don't want an advertisement really ruining the quality of the interviews that I gave them. And I really enjoyed doing these interviews. And uh, Angela and and, um, and Jarena, they're actually going to give me a post-fight interview after they're done fighting. So that's going to be exciting, too. But um, you guys go ahead. Please check it out. Uh, you know, send you. I appreciate you. These are people I remember. Um, I want to say Mr. Kale. I can't pronounce your name, but you checked it out. Uh, Corey Foreman, I think you did. Uh, but the rest of y'all, hey, man, uh, show your support. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. You know, you're live, 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 live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live.